right, there we go. And the power evolution begins. Oh, man, I hope it's going to be awesome. Oh, this is amazing. This is the best thing ever. Get him. And ba -bammy. we did it. Annihilated. What's up, guys? It's King Daddy D Mac, and welcome. Welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved. That's right, playing here with Anunnaki Genesis and the Prometheus mod on the Ragnarok map. Man, oh man, it do not get much better than that. Man, guys, thank you so very much for coming and hanging out, joining me on the adventures. As you always do, please remember, show that amazing support by slamming that thumbs up button. That's right, and if you're new to the channel, do not forget to subscribe for the daily arc awesomeness man oh man and speaking of awesome we are really coming together checking out all the crazy boss tech dinos we got last episode we finally tried out the uteranus the slaughter uteranus so very amazing so very cool we've tried out nighthog we've got a brand new tech megapithecus behemoth that is unstoppable so far it can kill just about everything on the server we also got the super amazing shogun i'm loving it i'm loving it so our next step is to go and try and get the tech mana core that crazy mana core boss that will get us a boss drop so we're gonna have to be on the lookout for that second level watchman however i want to take a little bit of a step back in the beginning there's there's a creature that we're missing and I've been looking for and wanting so very much. We have the crazy, crazy tech um, Dodo Rex brain fart there. We have the crazy tech dragons, but we are missing and we even have the crazy tech brood mother, Nova Roar, but we're missing the Megapithecus. And I think I've located one that should be super amazing and awesome for us to check out and tame. So let's head on over we're going to try and knock it out with our bow. I've got a whole ton of arrows. Let's go ahead and get the uh, foods all set and ready for this dude. Very nice, very nice. Yes, and let's go see what we can find. Let's see what level it is. Guys, I, I got to tell you, though, I have a good feeling about this. Holy crud, and there it is. What I tell you? What did I tell you, guys? A perfect 150 prome gorilla. Oh, this should be so extremely epic. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Except for the fact that it's going up against... Oh, a prime... Come on, bro. Come on. Holy crap, it got dismounted. Did I get dismounted? Oh, my goodness, you dumb Perlovia thing. Oh, come on. Run out, run out, run out. All right, dude. Did he really... Did he destroy him yet? Oh, no. This could be really bad. All right, Prom Gorilla is doing just fine. Wooly Rhino is getting destroyed. Prime Alpha Wooly Rhino. All right, come on, bro. I, I'm I'm rooting for you. Rooting to it and for you. You got this, bro. You have got this. Holy crud nuggets. There's nothing we can do but wait because we cannot hit the gorilla and we can't knock out the Wooly Rhino. But I mean, it just goes to show you how powerful they are. I mean, that's a 600 Prime Alpha. That is so nutballs. All right, I do suppose what we can do is start to clear out the area just to make it safe for the tame. All right, let's get this dude. He should have that, that dude done and knocked out in no time. All right, come on, get the racks. None of these things compare to, to the power of the Prome Gorilla, none of them, but they're just gonna be distractions in our tame. All right, look at how bloody this dude is. Look at how bloody. All right, let's get all equipped and set up to start nailing him as soon as he kills him. And there we go. Bam. All right, start nailing him. Bam. Come on. Oh, we're getting him so good. Yikes, this guy is so powerful. So crazy powerful. Are you kidding me? He killed me. He done killed me. Oh, my goodness. Like, that is some serious power. That is super serious power. All right, we're going to have to respawn. Oh, crap. Hopefully our guy was on passive. Oh, my goodness. It is just nutballs. I can't believe it. He can hit through the mount. All right, all right. Hopefully everything will be okay. Gravestone. All right, good, good. We got everything back. We should be just fine. 
I can't believe he done killed us. That is ridiculous. All right, let's get the next griffin. Should we do the griffin or should we get... I'm, I'm almost wondering if maybe I shouldn't grab uh, grab Venom to help us knock him out. I, I'm almost thinking that's that's the smarter way to do it. All right, I'll meet you guys on over there. All right, guys, arriving back in. Let's hope he hasn't killed our griffin. I mean, imagine that. Oh, it's got to be around here somewhere. Some Somewhere's around here. Where are you, bro? Where the crap are you? I can't believe he hit through our mount. That is just not balls. All right, our griffin is taking the hits just fine. Let's start to nail this guy. Let's start to do it. All right, that's perfect. Be distracted. Be distracted, bro. All right, this, this is working out just fine. And we can actually see what we're doing for Torpor onto him. All right, probably the much, much better way to go about this. All right, still going up. Is he hitting us through the mount or anything? No, no, we're doing fine. That Rex is making me a little nervous. This Rex is actually making me very nervous. Oh, gotta get that Rex. Okay, Rex is down. That's fine. Holy crud. This guy is unreal. Oh, no, and we're super hungry. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, eat, eat, eat. All right, what's this guy's deal? He's definitely getting high in Torpor. Getting very high in Torpor. No, don't jump off the cliff. Is he down? Is he unconscious? Hold on. What's going on? No, not quite, but getting very close. I don't know why he's not even moving. All right, still rising. That probably will knock him out. And... Oh, man. This makes me nervous. Are you knocked out, bro? Yes, it's unconscious. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Yeah, there's always a little bit of that lag time that you got to watch out for. And I don't know where the crap our griffin is right now. But let's go ahead. Let's get this guy tamed. Let's get the starve out potion. Kabammy. Yes, and we got a prone gorilla. Oh, what a beautiful, glorious day. All right, quickly. Passive. Unfollow. All right, we should be able to pick this guy up. No problems. Get the pickup matrix if I can find it right there. Shabammy and all of our inventory is all messed up. At the current moment. All right, let's go. And, oh, perfect. Please tell me you're alive. Tell me you are alive, Mr. Griffin. Oh, my goodness. So much shenanigans. All right, he's following us. Perfect. Guys, we did it. We did it successfully. Yeah, we died once, but hey, that's just part of the game. Oh, I love it. And let's go check out the power of our prome gorilla. I am so excited. I've been looking forward to taming this guy for so very long, and I think it's going to be epic. All right, guys, back at the base with our crazy new prome gorilla. I'm so pumped about this. You wouldn't think so because we're so far beyond it, but this is a perfect, perfect tame. Oh, my goodness. What have I been missing? So let's go test him out. I do have the upgrades. We're going to make him into a power one. Of course, you got to go power when you have gorilla. But we could also go, apparently, what is it? Fire or lightning. So, I mean, that's kind of cool, too. Definitely, definitely kind of cool. Oh, my goodness. It feels so good. It's a real nice starting speed. I mean, I could see wanting to go a little faster, but it's definitely doable. Definitely, definitely decent. We have left click. Oh, look at that smash. Amazing. Right click. Double hit. Okay, so, so far, it's just like the uh, behemoth. Let's try C. All right, nice. It does a nice little swoosh around in the X. Oh, so it's, it's almost identical controls to the behemoth. However, can we teleport on this guy? Is that going to be a thing? This, this is going to be kind of important. We can pick him up on our shoulder, which is huge. And he's the right size to teleport. The perfect Megapithecus. Seriously, the perfect, perfect one. And does he stop dead? Yeah, he does stop dead when he attacks with those moves. With that move, he stops dead, but not with the uh, swoosh. And then what about the chest bump? Stops dead. All right, that's kind of a disappointing, but at least he has the one move that he continues to move on. All right, let's go ahead. Let's see. What is the starting hits going to be? 
before we put any levels. And I'm gonna make this guy power pretty gosh darn quick before we do any leveling. I just wanna see what does our power give us? What type of boost? I can't believe there's no dudes around here. Are you guys, is everybody really that afraid of me? All right, here we go, here we go. This should be the most powerful move. The left click, 3,000. All right, that might have been mate boosted. 3,500, 5,291. That is not bad. Let's try the right click. Again, yes, same amount of damage, just a different type of attack. All right, this the swoosh. All right, that does significantly less, unless that guy's mate boosted. And I'm not seeing any dudes around here to mate boost him. So about what's expected, and then this, yeah, even significantly less than that. But it's just such, a, that's the tack that would dismount us. So it does have its uses, it is very cool. Overall stats, we're looking at, wow, not bad, 100 and, 113,950 health, that is crazy town. Over 10,000 stamina, weight over 3,000. It's overall, it is not bad, not bad at all. Anyway, let's take the stuff that I actually care about off this dude. Let's go ahead and grab that meat. Let's do the upgrade. Kabayami, meat. let's grab the saddle. Oh, what a beautiful thing, about to get an upgrade. Let's see how your stats change. Now it's probably gonna drop down to a 223 if it's anything like any of the other ones that we upgraded. All right, come on, bro. Come on, you could do it. No gender, so genderless cannot breed them. All right, there we go. And the power evolution begins. Oh man, I hope it's gonna be awesome. I know it's gonna be, it always is. So all that blue should turn to like a purpley pink magenta and wait for it wait for it kabayami beautiful power prome gorilla and just like i said it dropped down in level 223 always kind of a disappointment and let's see what changed in our levels let's hop on him though before we go and do that oh and he's got to go on passive unfollow Okay, beautiful, beautiful. We are set to go. So that beautiful health that we had over, it was what, 113,000? has dropped down now to 59,000. So significant drop there. Stamina's at eight. I don't remember what most of the other stats. The weight did go up. It was at 3,000 something. It's now four. The melee at like double. That's crazy town. And then melee boost from here on out should be significantly larger. Oh, and also very cool. Look at, if we wanted to change, it's allowing us to uh, do another upgrade. That is cool too. Definitely cool. All right, should have a much higher jump now. Look at that, it's almost obnoxious, but a much higher jump. And let's see what these attacks look like now. All right, so what were we at? Like five, a little over 5,000. Oh, 16,000 now. That's so much better. It is so much stronger. All right, let's find some more dudes to rack. Oh my goodness, it's just so much fun. I love these power evolutions. But bam 16,000. But bam 16,000, beautiful. All right, do any of the moves look different? Sometimes they give a little bit of different effects. All right, let's get on down here. So the normal smash move of course, the, the energy aura is now always purple. All right, that looks about the same. Wow. That seems like a much larger uh, stomp. Let's see about the C. All right, that looks about the same, but again, the aura is now purple and chest, chest beat. There's no chest beat? Are you crapping me? They took away the chest beat. All right, let's try R, nothing, Q, nothing, P, O, that's unfortunate. So by doing the evolution, I lost the chest bump ability. Very interesting. Unless unless the button just changed. Well, I don't know why that would be. Why would they change that? It seems stupid. I just don't know. But anyway, yeah, that's, that's apparently a thing. Now is this guy picking up? All right, he is picking up stuff. He is making his own meat. 
Very cool. We already got 63 levels. Let's level this guy up and see what his max attack ends up like. I know it's not going to be as good as the Behemoth, but is it going to be better than the Power Dragon? This is what I'm curious to see, and I'm loving the armor on this guy. I love the look. It is so gorgeous. So very perfect. Oh, man. I just wanted this guy so bad for so long, and we finally have him. Yes! All right, guys. Doing amazing leveling up. Absolutely incredible. We're up to melee of 147. And we're going to go take on our first big fight. First big fight. There should be a broodmother around here somewhere. There she be. There she be. So we're hitting now. Let's just have a look. See. Five, half a million damage. I know we upped our damage multiplier to one. You, it had been at 0.5 previously. So the power dragon, we're going to have to test what the, actual, the new top shot was. But... I really can't complain. Half a million damage, and it's only halfway leveled. That may put us up to the million point. Look at that. Look at how quickly we destroyed a brood mother. It's just incredible. I'm absolutely loving this guy. Plus, anything we run into takes 200 damage repeatedly. Like, it's just insane. It's insane. The right click. That guy might have been mate boosted. The right click should do, I would assume, the same half mil. Unless that changed since we became power. Let's just try it out again. Let's uh, just see. Bammy! No, it does less. It does less, but it's a much larger area of attack. So, very, very incredible. Yeah, because left click, five. All right, and then the spin, we're hitting at 379. Is that also? Yep, 379. Beautiful. Oh, man, I just love this dude so very much. Another 25 levels. Nice. So we're going to get up to 255 boosts into that attack. And then I'm thinking it needs a little bit of stamina. So hopefully the stamina boosts are big, but just a little bit. Um, movement speed, maybe like 120, 130. However, I could tolerate the way it is now. If I had to. If I... If I just had to. So I'm going to stick around the swamp just a tad bit more. And then let's head over to our wyvern area. And let's try and take on a boss. I think that will be awesome. Totally awesome. Man, I don't know how I lived without you. That jump's a bit obnoxious, I do have to say. Just because it's so slow. I wish they'd like jump up high and then slam down fast. Instead of this like floaty, floaty balloon jump. It's, it's just... it's. It drives me nuts. It really does. It makes me not want to jump. Anywho, that's neither here nor there. Let's continue on. All right, guys. Doing amazing. And we are there. We're there. Max attack. I, I can't wait to see what it is. So we've got one, two, three, four, 255. The highest level you can go without the stat resetting. After server reset, I have to always say that now because every single time I say 255 is the max, I get someone that says, but I bumped it higher than that. That's not the max, but people just don't realize that is the magic number you cannot go over or our anti-cheat will, uh, yeah, it will, it'll screw you. Screw you totally. All right, come here. Where are you? I want to see what my max attack's actually hitting for. All right, so we got some tear birds here. All right, so that's probably mate boosted. 866. Let's hope that might be the max. 866. I was hoping for a million, but no, it looks like that's the max. Eight. That's still nothing to complain about, though. 866,000. That is, I mean, it really is. It's truly a nutball number. It is absolutely insane, and it can take out with that just about anything just about anything so i'm feeling pretty good about myself the big thing that the bigger guys have is they have that no buff ability however because of that i'm able to use things like the level up counter and the pickup matrix so i have to say it's definitely it's a two-edged sword but i really like this guy's placement i like that i can teleport with him i can pick him up and it's just got those amazing stats that amazing attack really is all you need. Perfect size Megapithecus. 
All right, so anyway, we gotta figure out where else we wanna put stats. Now, of course, of course, the majority of the stats remaining are gonna have to go into health. But as I said, stamina, I found to be a little bit of an issue. I do run out of it. So I'm gonna want stamina up a little bit and then movement speed as well. It'll probably help in conjunction with the stamina. So, oh man, just to check that out. We only get one point boost. If only it was like two or even 1.5, that would make things so much better. But we'd really have to waste so many points into speed. So, all right, let's look at the stamina now. All right, that's not bad. That's near a thousand boost per. This stat I think would be worth getting up there. I'm just going to go to 20 because it's, it's so easy to get to. All right, so where else does that leave us? Wait. It's a little bit to be desired, but not much. I think that it's pretty good overall. I wish I could do more attack, but you know what? Let's just do it. Let's just do it. We got to the stamina so quickly. Let's do it to 130. I think that should be more than enough. And then we can really pile into the health. Yeah, I, I'd like a little bit more speed, but I think that is doable. That is manageable. This is not a speed guy. It really is unfortunate they don't have a speed megapithecus that in all honesty probably would be one of my go-to choices i would love it if this guy could attack faster imagine that like machine gun punches oh man mod author why did you not do that why did you not give it the speed oh it would just be so perfect anywho anywho um do you want to do it guys do you want to waste it we really didn't have to waste stats and many other things. Let's just do it. I think that we'll be fine. I think that we will be fine. Let's just get it up to 150. And that way I can be happy all around. Yes. All right. And to be honest with you, 200 probably be even better. But this we will settle for. Oh, yeah. That feels so much better. Night and day difference. All right. Let's take on our first other boss, dude. With them. Bam. -y! Look at that! Annihilated! And that was a pretty high level one, I think. I think that was like a 130. I could be wrong. I missed the little thing that said something in the top, but it felt like it was. So, if it feels like it, it must be. Alright, so moving on. Um, Let's see if we can find maybe like an Azura boss. I would love to do a nice little monkey versus monkey fight. I think that would be super sweet. We have a baller saddle. So, yeah, I think we can do this. I think we can make it a thing. Let's go find one. All right, guys, I found an Azura boss. I am so pumped. I want to do this. Let's go ahead, put in our last little levels and still not max. Still not max hitting, sitting at quarter million over quarter million health. I think that's plenty. Let's get him. Let's get him. Ba Bambi, come here, bro. Oh, crap. Now, here's one real negative. This guy sucks in the water. Absolutely horrible. I was kind of surprised about that. Anyway, let's see how we're doing. Dude, look at us. We're annihilating. Even with that lower damage amount that we do, I believe we have some type of bleed effect or something of the such that helps us to keep his health from rising back up, which is very, very important. Now, look at our health. Look at it. It's barely gone through, and we've still got so many more levels we can pump into it. Oh, this is amazing. This is the best thing ever. Get him, and ba -bammy. we did it. Annihilated. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We got a nice little heart. We got 10 more cores. We got some super sweet more mana core, core scarlet armor, more senior nano. Oh, dude, I love it absolutely love it and look at that 56 more levels dude we could make this guy 200 movement speed if we wanted and that was plenty plenty of health but you know what you know what i feel like this guy's got plenty of speed that feels so good as it is i don't want to mess it up let's just pile into that health get it as high as possible so if there's any other bosses we can easily take him on. I can't believe this. Even with a power dude, 350,000 health. That's amazing for a power dude. Although this guy probably would have been in the millions. In the mil, probably about like three to five million had we not upgraded at all. But the amount of power this guy puts out is just nutballs. Absolutely love him. I am thrilled. 
thrilled. Oh man, you no, know, one more test. I do, I do suppose one more test. Let's try this guy out on the uh, the Anki boss. I think that would the thorny devil. I just want to see how he adds up to that guy. If he can take that guy out, no problem. I'm gonna assume we'll have to use some health potions, but it's just it's gonna be interesting to see. So I'll see you guys at one. All right, guys, I've located the next boss, the thorny devil. Oh man. How's this going to be? I don't know. This was the one of the more stressful fights for the dragon. Now let's see for the Megapithecus for the gorilla. Oh man, look at this guy. Look at him. So we are getting him down, but that thorns damage or whatever the crap damage he's doing back to us is seems like it's far more. Like it's doing way more damage to us than we're doing to it. Now that partially also is because of that flame shenanigans. Oh my goodness, this guy is rough. Holy crap. Um, It's definitely a doable fight. Definitely a doable fight, but man, this is going to cost a lot of health potions. Don't even know if it's worth it. And I believe how this guy works, the more damage you do to him, I believe the more damage it reflects back at you. Holy crap, Nuggets. Wow, and just with that flame damage, it is ridiculous. Donkulous. All right, so definitely it's going to be a thing. It is going to be a thing. That's doing 64 with that hit versus 86. I feel like the 86 is better. Holy crap, Nuggets. This guy is intense. Intense, and you almost can't see. Holy crud, the whole time. I'm not taking any chances in case there's server lag or I mess up going into my inventory. Holy crud, Nuggets. So we're getting through. We're, we're piling through them. It's almost done. Yikes. I'm really curious now what the other types, like the fire type of this dude, would he breathe fire? Is there a fire breathing Megapithecus? Cause that, I bet you there is, and that sounds awesome. But I just don't know. I don't know, we'll have to in future ones try and do it. But this is the first 150 I've ever seen on the server. In fact, it's the first one that's over 100 that I've seen on the server. So pretty gosh darn lucky. Epic battle music and we did it. We defeated it. We are champions of the world. Holy bejeebers, that was a tough fight. That was a tough fight. And you know what, there's one other boss, the G Ganesh boss. We used to see those. That was like the only dude that we ever saw. And now all of a sudden, I never see them anymore. So I, I don't know. I don't know if something's changed up with it with the spawning or if it's just the luck of the draw, just chance. So I don't know, another interesting thing would see to be how this guy goes up against a warden. I have a feeling while probably doable, it's probably a rough fight. Man, I wish you could get these chief dudes. All right, last fight for you today, buddy. Let's get this chief, let's get the chief. Oh, did you see that? We one shot him. That is incredible, incredible. What's the bag? Is that, I, I have a feeling we already picked up the stuff. Let's just check. Yeah, it's a Stego. All right, buddy bro. You are officially, I think, my favorite Megapithecus on the server for just all around uh, everyday Mount Ridiness. Not the strongest, not the coolest, but definitely, I think, the best well-rounded one. I'm very pleased, very pleased. All right, guys, I located something super awesome that we can do for our final tame. Oh my goodness, I did a dino wipe. I was hoping to get more Watchmen, but instead we got this, a 580 Alpha T-Rex. It's at 8540 roughly, so we'll definitely have to go check that out. And we already have an Alpha T-Rex. However, this guy was was really not that high rip jaw. It was only like, I think a 300 or something. So 580, that is near perfect. We might even be able to get a mate boost situation going. Let's see, we got a male. So female's what we're looking for. That's what would be ideal. But either way, a much, much better Alpha T-Rex. Gotta get those Alpha T-Rex. But bam me. All right, all right. Holy crud nuggets. This guy has just got jaws of steel. Come here. Bam. Oh, why are these arrows not doing as much today? Seriously. All right, let's 
Check out the Torpor situation. Oh, man, it is high. I'm saying one more shot, and we are golden. One more. Oh, it is super afraid of us. Come on, bro. Right there. And it should be down. It is out. It is official. It is official. All right, let's go ahead and throw in the Carno Kibble. Throw in... Oh, man, and it tamed straight away. Beautiful. Let's get on that saddle. Hold on, hold on. We got to get out of the inventory first. Put on that saddle. Awesome. Let's go ahead and put passive, unfollow, and let's ride this sucker. Look at her. Or him. Crazy alpha. It's not nearly as beautiful as her other one, but man, it is going to make up for it in sheer power. Holy crud. Now, of course, the health, as you remember, every time we restart the server, the health on the Anunnaki guys do go up, but most of the other stats stay the same. And look at that, 980 for the beginning, beginning damage. Oh, man, so beautiful. Such a beautiful thing. I love these Alpha T-Rexes. Absolutely love them. All right, guys, back at the base now. Got our new Alpha T-Rex. What a beauty. Will, of course, be named next episode. Super sweet. And I think we're going to proceed with dragon breeding. I'd like to lay the eggs at least today. So on that note, there's a couple different things that we need to get a crafted. One, we need to get a hatchery. Now, we do not have 20 dino eggs, so we need dino eggs to start getting picked up. That's a definite. We're going to want to get the nanny. Which we should, I, I swore I've been cutting my hair between episodes. It must be over at the beach base. And then here we need 200 human hair and wool, which we don't have. But if we want to start working on the hatchery, we need to get the item collector. So I think we have enough to make that. Let's just go ahead and craft it. Very cool. Let's skip all the way down. And this will start to pick up all the eggs for us. So a very nifty and neat item. Let's see, where should we set it? Where should we set it so it doesn't get that much in the way? Um, I suppose I'll set it right here. Look, sounds good to me. Yeah, yep, yep, sounds good to me. Let's set it right there for now. All right, sweet. So this bad boy, it will use a per, uh, propellant for fuel or it should be able to work off of the electric generator that we have here. So if we go ahead and activate, beautiful, it's gonna pick up poo and eggs now we can change it so that let's see collector options all right let's stop poop there we go look at that you can even enable certain just certain poop types it also will get pearls and paste if you have any dinos that drop those so definitely a nifty little thing that we do need and it should have a range that covers basically all my dinos more or less, more or less, it should. So I may have to move it over here. But in any case, not, not important, not important. So we've got that done. Next, we need a hitching post. So let's go ahead and make that hitching post. Beautiful. All right, and this will make it so that we can put our dinos on wander and not have to worry about them running away. So let's go ahead and set down the hitching post right by the dragons. Let's get green bean. Let's go ahead, hitch dino, sweet. And let's also do an enable wander, which is under behavior, I believe. Behavior, where the crap is it? Enable wandering. All right, beautiful. So that's our lady. Our soul blazer is gonna be our male. Let's hitch dino and let's do behavior, enable wandering. Beautiful. So we should start to see them breeding. Hopefully they're close enough. Yes, and they are mating. Awesome. It is super duper duper slow. But that's okay. They'll they'll run right through and they'll mate. You know what, guys? Never mind. The the mating is going super quick and there it is. It just laid the egg. Holy crud, dragon egg. I love it. I absolutely love it. What's the cooldown? All right, not too bad. 4 hours 30 minutes. We can deal with that. We can deal with that. Look at this awesome egg. Fertilized, and look at that. See, I told you early in the series, they used to be called wyverns. They weren't dragons, they were wyverns. So yes, fertilized wyvern egg. Look at that bad boy. Oh, so very cool. 
Oh man, this is gonna be amazing to have her very own dragon slash wyvern. Look at that, it's such a big egg I can hide inside of it. It's crazy town. All right, so of course it's not incubating right now. We do have different incubators and such in the mod pack and we will get to that, but I think we'll actually hatch it come next episode. If we put it in this fridge, look at how long it lasts. It shouldn't go down in health or anything else. So keep it there. Nice for safekeeping. We can probably get the hatchery come next episode and hopefully the nanny. Hopefully the nanny as well. Definitely going to be important. Let's just double check what we need for the nanny. All right. So for the nanny, we just need 50 human hair, which is not a problem at all. In fact, I will even grab some more hair for myself right now. Let's go ahead and use this. And shabammy, we should get, I think, 30 hair from this. So hair length, except sweet. Let's use it again. And facial hair. Kabam, except beautiful. So that should have gave us 30 hair. We're halfway there. Beautiful. All right, guys. Well, 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 on that note, I think we did pretty well today. We got an amazing tech, Megapithecus. Seriously, made it into a power one. What a monster. Super insane. We got a near perfect Alpha T Rex. Look at that. 869 for the level gotta love it and we got a dragon egg sweet so i'm gonna go through the comments guys and i'm gonna go pick out some dino names what do you have to say about that i'll see you back in a moment all right guys it is that time time to name the dinos for those of you that do not know at the end of every single episode i go through the comments of the previous episode and i pick out awesome name suggestions that you guys left in the comments if you want to try and help out to name a dino all you got to do is be a subscriber and leave your comment down below it's just that easy so today today we have to name the slaughter you tyrannus and our most amazing tech megapithecus behemoth dude that we got last episode so without any further ado we have for our awesome you tyrannus where is it bloodlust absolutely love it perfect name for you bro perfect name for you so very cool and then we have doomsday for our Megapithecus. I think it goes great in line with we have Doom Fist for previous one, and this one is now Doomsday for our most powerful epic one ever. I love it, and man, what a day. Alpha T-Rex, near top level, and perfect tame power gorilla. So incredibly awesome. Plus, we got the dragon egg that we're gonna hatch next episode. So anyway, guys, thank you oh so much for watching. Please remember, show that amazing support by slamming that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, do not forget to subscribe for the Daily Arc awesomeness. And as always, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching and peace out.